Good morning folks, hope you're well. Uh, today I'm going to have my skin analysed um, and to hopefully start on a treatment to help improve my skin. I don't have the worst skin in the world but I also don't have the best skin and I'm a little bit kind of like sad because since going through the menopause as well my skin is really yeah it's really not looking as good um, as what it did before so I definitely notice that the the actual texture of the skin is a lot thinner um getting like deeper lines here um and yeah and I've, I've always had like these like lines here as well now i'm not looking to get any botox or fillers or anything like that i'm just looking firstly to just improve the texture um and the feel of the skin and then we'll see what we do about certain things like you know like lines here i know you can have like hyaluronic things here um but yeah i'm just not i'm not loving my skin anymore and um yeah it's part of aging i get it um but also i haven't really looked after it in the sense of having any kind of treatments or anything like that like generally like a massage um but i wouldn't do anything facial so i feel like now is the time to do like the facial work you know now's the time to start improving this skin now it's okay on the cheek area but it's mainly kind of like the forehead like getting lots of lines and the um just the look of the forehead isn't great um definitely getting darker under the eyes definitely more lines there um so yeah so it'll be interesting to see what she says actually so hopefully i'll be able to film it i hope so um so yeah let's go and see what she says On your face I'm going to use our purifying gel cleanser so we tend to use that in a lot of our professional treatments mm -hmm. um, but it's a very good degreaser on the skin and we need to degrease the skin to get some really good images in the scalp so that's why we're going to use it so typically some people can feel that the skin feels a little bit dry after using this cleanser or sort of a little bit tight I would say okay. but it's just because it's a very good degreaser okay. so we'll give you a lovely double cleanse So are you using a mixture of products at the moment? I am, yeah. Um, yeah, I am. They're a little bit random at the moment. Yeah. Well, all of the um, Illumia products are free from parabens, sulfates, uh, perfumes, um, irritants, that kind of thing. So um, unlike some of the other medical brands, they don't have the sort of the parabens. So do you do exfoliation at home as well? Um, not as much as I should, no. Okay. <laughs> I think it's, um, yeah, I've not been great with my face. Like if I go to a beauty salon, I generally go like for massages. Okay, when it comes <laughs> more the relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so I feel a bit bad. I've kind of like neglected the face. So now I'm like, okay, it's time for the face. Right, well, to sort itself out. hopefully I can help you out with that. Yeah. Then. Okay, so we're going to put you inside the Observe scanning machine um, and then we're going to have a look at the images of you inside once we've had and done the photos. So it's going to go dark inside the machine shortly. That's it moving into UV mode. Keep still as you can and I'll let you know when it's completely finished. what we call daylight mode so if you were standing outside in the daylight this is how we would see your skin so what this is actually showing me is that there is no major irritation or redness on the skin um, you don't have anything that's sort of screaming out no spots things like that so mm -hmm. typically um, there's nothing sort of superficially that we need to be that concerned with CNE is um, their design. So what happens is the L-ascorbic acid crystals sit in this compartment at the top 
and you have three of these bottles in your packaging. So only when you are ready to actually activate it do you depress the lid and release the crystals into the peptide rich serum. That's then going to be shaken and activated mm -hmm. and you can then apply that to your skin. So it's going to remain very fresh. So typically what you want your vitamin C serum to be looking like, let's just get a nice little dope of that, is a clear to a straw-like colour. But it all starts to oxidise. So these have been open a little bit longer. So here we're now seeing a light orange in colour. That you don't want to be using on your skin because it's now oxidised, so it's not going to be giving you that same protection with the free radical damage. And this lovely one has been opened up even longer, and we're a lovely bright wow. orange. <laughs> so you definitely wouldn't be wanting to use that on your skin. Right. So it's really lovely because it's water-based, so it's very good for an oily skin type as well. And you would apply sort of three to five drops to the face, but vitamin C is a really important component for your collagen production as well. Yeah. So you want to have that in your skin, one for brightening, um, calming inflammation, but also for a part of your collagen synthesis in the skin. Okay. So I'm going to pop some of that on you. Yes. It's like a jelly. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put some of this on the back of your hands. So we would always suggest that you use this um, in the evening because the skin can go quite pink with this one, called Pink with Purpose. So this is lactic acid and fruit enzymes, so it can be quite active on the skin. You can leave up to 10 minutes, but it's a very gentle way of exfoliating the skin, so you're not using a scrub that's going to do it. The lactic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid, so it hydrates, plumps, but also exfoliates the skin. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Excellent. if I put that on the back of this hand, we pour a thin layer, and we're going to leave that for a few minutes while we put some products on your skin, and then we can have a look afterwards and see what it looks like compared to your other one. Cool. Clear solution to the cotton pad now. So I'm just going to pass that over the skin. So again, no scrubbing, nothing like that. This is just very gently going to be exfoliating the skin. And we've also got lime pearl in there, which is another ingredient to work at exfoliating. Sometimes it can take a couple of minutes and you might get a little bit of a tingle on the skin. Mm -hmm. But if you think we've diluted the product there, if you were using that neat, you would feel it. Mm -hmm. So we introduce it very slowly to the skin. Okay, so this is our Ultimate Boost Serum. So this is our Power Packed Anti-Aging Serum. So serums um, are always corrective. They will always have a lot more potent ingredients in than your moisturizer. So if you think your moisturizer is just doing what it says on the tin, this is your Power Pack Serum. So in here we have Matrixyl Synth 6 at 2%, so that is the clinically proven level it needs to be to stimulate your collagen process and the elastin process in the body. So that's going to be working hard on a daily basis to actually get that process working. Add vitamin C to that as well, you're producing even stronger collagen. We've also got two weights of hyaluronic acid in here now, a medium weight and a low weight hyaluronic acid. So this is going to be going into the epidermal layers and drawing water in, but also into the dermal layers with that low molecular weight hyaluronic acid. So it's drawing moisture very deep into the skin, so also very hydrating. Then we've got some tetrapeptide 14, which is a redness relieving peptide. So this is going to work at just keeping that barrier lovely and calm. So somebody with a really sensitive skin, this would be suitable for as well, but also not forgetting it is massively anti-aging. So two drops on there. Did you get any tingling from the bright and clear or nothing yet? No. Okay. And then three drops. And what's your personal opinion of my skin? What do you think? Is it... Well, I think for your age, your skin's great. I mean, there's a couple of little marks on the skin, but that's um, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation from the spots. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have severe laxity. I would say your eyes perhaps look a little bit tired. Yeah. Um, but, you know, here... You've got, you know, it's all good and there isn't much laxity going on. Mm -hmm. So it's just beginning signs of aging and you use your forehead quite a lot, which is why you're seeing the lines here. <laughs> so it's your expression lines. Do I? I haven't noticed that I use it as <laughs> Your well. eyebrows are coming up. And this really? is what, yeah. I think, like, I'm very much a smiler. Yeah. So I can understand why my eyes are, like, affected. I wonder I if it's to do with the filming, because now you're looking at me, yeah, this comes up. now, yeah, it is now. But I must do it generally yeah. anyway, that's yeah. why I've got the line. As I said, if you wear your gloves, you're actually saving money on your product as well. So I'm gonna split that now. It's not going anywhere, it's still sitting on my gloves. 
I'm now going to pat that onto the skin and then blend in. Now I can already feel your skin's hydrated from that vitamin C we've put on really? already because it's just gliding across now. <laughs> Right, so how does that feel? Because it should be quite lightweight on the skin. Yeah. So not heavy at all? No. Do you no. feel like you've got two serums on now? Um, not really. No. Does it feel less tight now though, more hydrated? Yeah, it definitely does. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so HydroCalm is our uh, moisturiser. So typically we only tend to use uh, moisturisers at night. But some people, particularly if they have a very sensitive skin, it's drying and it's flaking, they may need to have a little bit of extra moisture in the daytime. I'm going to try it on you now so you can see how it feels on the skin. But this one has low molecular weight hyaluronic acid in. So it's not oily, but it is quite a rich moisturiser. And then we also have copper peptide in there as well. And copper peptide is wound healing. So this is really great for like after microneedling, after chemical peels and things like that, mm. because it's really hydrating to the skin after you've had a treatment as well. Okay, so one pump again. Mm -hmm. Spreading. And applying to the skin. Now, obviously, if you were concerned about anti-aging on the neck area and you felt that you know your skin was particularly dry or showing the signs of aging there, you're fine. But some people well, do one tend thing, to. One thing, actually, Natalie, is yeah. um, these two lines that here. Yeah. yeah. So again, they're sort of crease marks in the neck. But yes, apply your anti-aging products to your neck as well is going to give you a better result down there. Okay. We also have a retinol specifically designed for that area too. So okay. you want to be using products that are really designed for that area, but the anti-aging ones would be completely fine to use on that area as well. Okay, yeah. All right, so yeah. that that's applied to the skin now. So can you feel it's a little bit more richer, I would yeah. say, than the um, serum? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does it feel very heavy or does it no. still feel quite light on the no. skin? No, everything feels great. Brilliant. Okay. <laughs> so far so good. Good. So now we just need to get the SPF on so, you. One thing that um, everybody should be wearing on a daily basis is SPF. This is really non-negotiable. If you are concerned about the signs of aging, if you're not protecting your skin from UVA as well as UVB rays, you might as well forget paying money on your serums because you're just throwing it down the drain. Yeah. So yes, it's difficult to try and find one, particularly for a darker skin type. So sometimes you do have to play about and you have to try and find one that's going to match your skin tone. Chemical ones probably sit a little bit better, but the thing with the chemical sunscreen is they have to be reapplied quite regularly and they tend to denature on the skin. Yeah. So this is a physical SPF. So physical SPFs, they don't contain any chemicals at all. So for somebody with a sensitive skin, a chemical sunscreen can also be quite irritating. So a physical SPF or our ones particularly just contain zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. So if you think of the cricketers with the white on the nose, that's reflecting the sun's rays. So that's what this is doing applying a barrier to the skin and is going to bounce the sun's rays off you. So it gives you quite a good coverage on the skin for a little bit longer probably than a chemical sunscreen, but if you were still sweating, you would need to still reapply this regularly as well. So we spoke a little bit before about um, having the darker skin tone and when you're using these physical sunscreens, sometimes they can leave a bit of a cast on the skin. So you've told me that you've been using the sheer hydration, which um, gives a dewy finish on the skin, mm -hmm. but that was an untinted one. So we're going to try the tinted one on you now and see how that is. Okay. This is supposed to match any skin tone. So okay. again, um, Asian skins and darker skins can find sometimes this one can work a little bit better. Mm -hmm. But we also have, um, there's a range also that give a matte finish. So not everybody wants a dewy finish on the skin. And mm -hmm. um, particularly if you're super oily and um, have spots, you might need to look at perhaps having a matte finish as well. So you want about a quarter of a teaspoon. I might have a little bit too much on there, but we're also <laughs> going to cover up your eyes with this because we want to protect those as well. Okay. So I'm going to spread this over my gloves. Okay. If you close your eyes for me. I'm going to pat across the skin and then blend in. So all of the SPFs when you first apply them will have sort of a sheer look to them. The um, dewy finish ones will then calm down a little bit after about 20 minutes and I would say that the matte ones take about 20 minutes to just mattify slightly on the skin as well. Okay. I actually think that's probably a little bit better. 
Yeah, that's better. Now, if I rub my glove, <laughs> you can see all the colour. Oh, yeah. That's come off yeah, yeah. on it. And you really don't need to use loads of gloves. I mean, you know, it really gives you a much better finish when you apply the SPF, I believe, with gloves. Mm -hmm. Wash them and reuse them the yeah. next day. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's much better than the other one. Oh, my skin's really glowing, isn't it? It is. <laughs> wow. Love it. Illumini. Um, this is our fantastic anti-aging eye cream. So in here we have the Matrixel Sint 6 that like we've just put on the face. We've got Tremella Mushroom Extract, so that's really good at hydrating the skin. We've got Mura Mura Butter, another really good emollient to the skin. Mm -hmm. And then we have two peptides, Eyeless and Holoxyl. Both of these are going to work on dark circles and puffiness around that eye area, so it's really anti-aging. Okay. So you want to be putting this on your ring finger and spreading out. Now, if you just close your eyes for me, I'm actually going to apply under the eye and then under the brow, and we pat ah. that in. We don't apply directly to the eyelid because if you put it on your eyelid, it's going to seep into the eye and create irritation, but mm. we can get it around here because we get that little bit of darkening there as well. Just got to touch there. But if you've got um, sort of excess water retention around here, you can actually drain that out to your lymph node in your ear, which helps to just drain some of that excess fluid away. Okay. But it has light reflecting properties in there, so I don't know if you can see on your camera now that the eyes are a little bit brighter because it's illuminated yeah. this area yeah. around here. Yeah. So for somebody that, particularly in Asian skin, where they get that darkening, around the eyes mm -hmm. it can work really well because it's going to actually brighten that eye area up excellent love it and it's so light and easy to put yeah. on isn't it it feels it? quite hydrating as well though doesn't it yeah yeah it really does so i am back from my treatment and look how glowy my skin is look at that so she actually tested out the products and everything on my skin, which I thought was just brilliant because there's some places that just don't do that. So I must have been with her for over an hour and she was explaining all the products and she tried them all on my skin. And look, honestly, even just with, um, even just with one treatment, um of, and just using the products really it wasn't like a chemical treatment appeal or anything like that that i just had it was her just using um the products i can see the difference in my skin especially here this area looks smooth really smooth so like i said i'm going to be working on kind of like the lines here um, are an issue for me the eyes and you can see where i'm getting slightly darker around the eye area um, and I think that's been caused by, you know, going through the menopause and the loss of estrogen and um, progesterone and everything. But with just one um, use of the Illumina products, I can already see the improvement in the quality of my skin. I really can. Honestly, I can. You might not be able to, but I can. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm loving that. And I will definitely be going back. Um, I have heard really good things about the products anyway, um, so I'm definitely going to be going back and just giving it, um, you know, trying it out for a few months, because you've got to give it a few months to see the, the difference and if it's really working. And even though my skin is not majorly bad or anything, I haven't got like major problems, there are areas that, you know, I really would like to see improved. So yes i am super super glad um that i went i honestly am i can really really see a difference i really think my skin the hydration it feels so much more hydrated and glowy so yeah impressed with that so that's it for today's video i know it's been a little bit of a long one but i hope you have enjoyed it and um yeah follow me on this journey and I shall update you with how I'm getting on. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and I shall see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.